What do you mean there's something in the water? I don't know, there's just something in the water! Believe it or not, I think this is the seventh Alien movie, not but, in, not including Alien versus Predators. Right, but is it? Is it really the seventh, or is it the third or second? Well, technically, it's some, or one point five. One point five. There we go. One point five. Yeah. Um, Alien goes, Romulus. In case you're wondering what we're, th we're talking about, this takes place between Alien and Aliens. Yeah. The first and second movies. Yeah. Which by far are the best movies. Absolutely. Now, Alien 3, Alien 4, etc., etc. Not good. Forget about those. Not good at all. They didn't exist. Even the the newest ones there. Uh, no, I didn't like them Prometheus. At all. Prometheus and, and all yeah. that, no. Mm -hmm. Um, but, what did you think of this one? I have a couple of different thoughts about this one. Okay. Okay. So, this one brought me right back. Like, the same tech, the same, uh, it, it transports you right back to Alien. Well, the set designs are great. It's the same. The set designs and the sound The feel. Are great. The, I mean... Obviously, a lot of the action takes place in darkness and the flashing lights. But you know what? So were the originals. So I've got to forgive them for that. That's just the style of the Alien movies. Well, technically, it's an abandoned spaceship. It's an ab abandoned space, space station. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, yeah. so, but I thought it was fantastic right up until, I'm going to say, the first ending. Because this seemed to end three or four times. Yeah, and... I am very tired of stupid people in movies. Like, like, stupid decision making. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like... Like, uh, let's open the door to save our one friend and all the, all the aliens are waiting behind the door for you. Yeah. Stuff like that. Or, oh, I heard a, or, <laughs> hello? We're supposed to be ultra quiet and not make any noise. In fact, our sweat might, might yeah. bring the face huggers towards us. Yeah, you gotta find the key. <laughs> find the key. Oh, by the way, the spaceship crashed yeah. into the other spaceship, and the key he left by the door is still there on the ground, just lying there on the ground. Well, that was lucky. Very, very lucky. That was it was lucky. Yeah. Oh, well, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> it must have had a magnet, magnet attached to it or something. I just, yeah, this, there, there is some things that just went. But, like, why did they even need that key scene in there? <laughs> and it was it was keys like like you would find for like a, an old uh, yeah, Buick, like yeah, your car keys, <laughs> car keys, like my car keys for this car every, are more modern than the spaceship's. Keys. Every other key on the ship is like you know a, a fingerprint, DNA, door. Nope, this one's a, like a Ford, a yeah. Ford key. Now, the acting is pretty good. Yeah, I didn't mind the acting. I did like the. The synthetic that they had in there going back and forth between the two characters. Yes. Yeah. Did think that was well done. And they did hypen up the tension a lot. Now, the aliens took a long time. They seemed to study them a lot. They did. Oh, look, they're just over there. I'm just... Yeah. Like this, like... Yeah, there was a lot of just, like, <laughs> looking at you and growling. Yeah, well, and... and, and, and I, I, can't, I can't talk about it, but there's an escape scene with an elevator and if you are the dumbest person in the world you still can figure out what was going to happen yes like it was so predictable Paul could have done it yeah yeah Paul's at home right now he hasn't seen the movie he goes I know what happened <laughs> so <laughs> but all that that taken out it's still by far the best alien movie we've seen in a long long well, time well since Alien and One aliens. and two, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to give them credit for that. There are some things I wish they would have changed. Um, I like the way they did the acid. It was yeah. cool. Um, I, I, I liked the, the playing with the gravity. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of things in this movie that I liked. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I really did. And I, I, I really did like that it brought me right back to the... The atmosphere. Know, the atmosphere was, the was perfect. Yeah. 
And the sound helped with that. Like the sound, like we were in a quiet theater. I loved it because people were quiet. And it was a full theater, but yeah. everyone was like, you could hear a pin drop. Yeah. So that, that was, was fantastic. Good. That, was, that good. was good. And it helped because there were tense moments that you're listening and you're they did they do a lot of jump scares like all alien movies do. Mm -hmm. Um Well that's that's part of the that's part of it. thing. But you could follow the plot. And I like how they, they built up the tension between uh you know, people and synthetics. Yeah. Like there's you know, they, they work together but there's a tension that you know, you're not one of us. Yeah. Right? So. Like a synthetic will make a cold decision. Save fifty by killing one. Where a human might want to save that one because they're in love with that person. Yeah. So they they, they do all that stuff. So uh, all right, I'm I'm gonna say this is a a yes. Go see it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, what would you give it? Okay, so right up until um, the like right to the first ending mm -hmm. when they 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 when they disable the autopilot, right? Okay. okay. At that point, fan, that's an eight point five. That's an eight point five movie. All the way. But... And then they go on to this additional portion of the movie in the next half an hour of the movie. And I'm sitting there thinking they could have they could have used that same situation and A um, made that lead to a sequel and did it better. Because I think the way they did the second Act, the second part, the second ending, was, was <laughs> ending a, number two. Yeah, ending number two. I was like, mm, I just, I'm not feeling it. No, it seemed like wasted space. But you know why they did it? So they can bring back one of the creatures from Prometheus. Yes, that's the only reason they did that ending. Yeah. So I'm gonna give this a seven. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was, like I said, the best out of all the other aliens so far. Had this been one, two, three. I think we'd be well. When is the fourth one coming out? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I say Bravo. But uh, they they went too much into oh, let's link every other alien movie together. Yeah, and that's the only reason that extended portion of the end of the movie was there. Even and it didn't need to be. No, it didn't all, need to because be. it was fine right up until then. Yeah. Like like a fantastic. They could have ended it. Credits could have rolled, and that would have been like awesome. Yeah. Simple so, as that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Aliens, uh, Romulus. Yes. You know, Star Trek record. Okay. But um, I was surprised that I liked it as much as I did. Yeah, so me too. we give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Or if you're Paul, sideways thumb. Because he can never make up his mind. That's right.